Hello ladies and gentlemen and happy Monday. Hope everybody had a great day today. It has no doubt been a very warm day and even a very stormy day as that sea breeze made its way inland. We had a lot of thunderstorms form across our area. One of them even formed what's called an outflow boundary and that acted as a trigger mechanism for even more showers and thunderstorms. So a pretty nice day, a pretty uh, nice start out to the day, but then we had a lot of thunderstorms form across the second half of the day and that will be really the exact same case all throughout the rest of this week as a high pressure system is going to be dominating the whole entire southeastern coastline, not only drawing in a lot of very warm and humid air to our area, increasing our chances for showers and thunderstorms every single day, but this air could potentially be the hottest air we have seen so far this week. Take tomorrow, for example. It's going to be a very similar story to what we saw today as far as the clouds and the rain chances go, but temperatures, they'll be a little bit warmer. We're going to be right around 83 to 84 degrees right along the coastline. 83 in Myrtle's Inlet, 84 in the city of Myrtle Beach, 83 in North Myrtle Beach, 85 down there in the city of Georgetown. Once you head further inland across the PD and on the water belt, temperatures will be climbing into the upper 80s to lower 90s. And once you factor in that humidity, it could very well feel like it is at least 100 degrees, if not above that. So a very warm day is ahead, to say the least. And it only continues throughout the rest of this week. Here's a look at your three-day temperature outlook for the rest of this week for all of our locations. First off, for the Grand Strand, we're going to be in the mid to upper 80s all week long, aside from Friday, when we have that cold front coming through. But notice how our average high for this time of year is around 77 degrees. We are we are well above that, so a very warm uh, week to say the least. And it only gets worse as you head further inland. Low to mid 90s all week. Once you factor in that humidity, once again, it'll likely feel like it is over 100 degrees. And you are seeing that right. Our average high for this time of year is in the low 80s. We are nearly 10 degrees above that all week long. So a very warm uh, week is ahead overall, to say the least. Now let's take a look at our next weather maker. It is a cold front that will be coming from the west as we head into your Thursday and also into your Friday. As we head into your Thursday, the upper level low is going to be sitting right over the Ohio Valley with the cold front going right over parts of the Tennessee Valley. And this will put the best chance of rain right along the upstate and the North Carolina mountains. Keep in mind that this model is not doing a very good job at factoring in how warm it's going to be and also with that sea breeze heading inland. So I do think that we're going to be seeing a little bit more in the way of shower and storm activity than this particular model is showing. Once again, prefrontal showers because of that sea breeze. And then once that line gets through here as we head into the afternoon, that'll be our best chance as far as severe weather goes, which I'll tell you more about coming up in just a sec. And then as we head into your Friday, our upper level is going to be sitting right over the northeast in the mid-Atlantic with that cold front sitting right over the Carolinas. Now, usually when we have a cold front sitting right over us, that would increase our chance of rain because that's where the most lift is in the atmosphere. But I think at this point, most of our moisture is going to be sitting just off the coastline, bringing our best chance of rain either right along the coastline, if not just off the coastline. So I'm not saying that we're not going to have any rain at all. But I do think our best chance of rain will be as we head overnight on Thursday and into your Friday morning before all that moisture is being pushed out of our area. Now, as we head into your Wednesday, we have a very small chance of severe weather. The Storm Prediction Center has put us under a level one or a marginal risk for severe weather with a primary threat being some isolated quarter-sized hailstones and maybe some damaging wind gusts in between 40 to 50 miles per hour. It's going to be very, very isolated, and it's not going to be a total, it's not going to be a massive threat, but just know that as we head into your Wednesday, we will have a very small risk for severe weather. And as we head into your Thursday, the Storm Prediction Center has also put the whole entire almost eastern coastline under a 15% chance of seeing um, severe weather. Notice how we're not looking at a 1 to 5 risk. That's just because it's too far out to know exactly how great the threat will be. They're, they're, they really do it at, at about a 15 to 30% chance as we get this far out in the game. But note that because it is so far out, we are already forecasting severe weather, and that's how high the forecast confidence is going to be. So as we head into your Thursday, just please be on the lookout for some strong to potentially severe storms. Make sure that you have have a way to get that warning and uh, you just know we're safe places god forbid we do see any severe weather but i'll obviously keep you posted on that and we'll post updates as needed throughout the rest of this week here's a look at your extended 10-day forecast probably brought to you by hunter plumbing services the heat is on and it is here to stay mid to upper 80s for the majority of this week afternoon showers and thunderstorms will be likely especially if you're tuesday and wednesday as that sea breeze heads inland that cold front arrives on uh, thursday and friday that will drop our temperatures back into the 70s for the upcoming weekend but it will be very nice this weekend with all that dry air coming into place mostly sunny skies are going to be forecasted for your week or for, excuse me for your weekend and also into the upcoming week ahead. Here's a look at that forecast as you head further inland. Very, very hot, low to mid 90s all week this week with that chance for some showers and thunderstorms in the afternoon once that sea breeze heads inland. Our best chance of rain will come on Thursday and Friday once we do have that cold front coming through, but that cold front will knock our temperatures from the 90s this week back into the upper 70s to even lower 80s for your upcoming weekend. Once we get to that point, most of the sunny skies are back in the forecast. I hope you all have a great Tuesday.